Hey guys, my name's Megan and welcome back to my channel. So today is a very special episode because the Beyonce perfume is here. Yay! So I got this during the pre-order. Say Noir is here. I'm so excited. Also a little sample of it came in with my package. Let me show you. Let me get it. Let me go get it out of my gym bag. Okay, here is the sample that came in with my package. It's right here. So kind of overspoke. There it goes. Here is the sample that came in with my box. Oh, it smells so good. There's also a little QR code on the back, I assume, to um, get like the notes and everything. But yeah, here is the sample. And let's get into the perfume itself. Okay, here she is right here. I'm so excited. Pop her out of the box. All right, here she is. It's so shiny on camera. It's so reflective, I love it. But here it is, Say Noir by Beyonce. And I believe Killian made this perfume happen. So here it is outside of the box. It is 1.7 fluid ounces. All right, here are the notes for the perfume. The top note are clementine and golden honey. The heart is rose absolute and jasmine sandback. And the base is Nairobian myrrh and golden amber. So it sounds right up my alley. I'm going to spray it from the little sample. Actually, no, I'm not. All right. Ooh. That smells really good. Okay. Okay, I don't think I don't. I think the perfume I had on earlier is gone, so let's spray it on my. I'll spray it on back of my hand. Okay. Ooh, that's a nice spray. That's a nice strong spray. Ooh. I really like that. It smells like um, honey and peaches. Ooh, that smells really good. Mmm, this smells really good. I really like this. Also, so obviously, it comes like this, and then this pops out. And look, there's a little detailing on the back. But this right here is 1.7 fluid ounces. And this will run you about $160, which isn't surprising because Killian made the perfume. And if you're not, if you're not familiar with Killian, they make the um, the perfume called Love Don't Be Shy and Angel Share, which are very, very popular. And both of those run about like $250, $300, which if you are not, a, not aware or not don't know a lot about perfumes that's kind of like a standard size like let me go get let me go find one that's also 1.7 okay just for reference this is the K Ali elixir and this one's also 1.7 fluid ounce so these two have the same amount of perfume but this one's 160 and this one I think the 1.7 is about a hundred dollars so just for like comparison. So this is definitely meant to be more higher end and this one is more mid-range, if you will. Okay, what are my thoughts on the Beyonce perfume? I do like it. Initially, I do very much like it. It smells like peaches and honey. It's dried out on my hand and honestly, it does smell very yummy. I don't know what exactly to compare it to. It almost smells like, it almost smells like Very Good Girl from Carolina Herrera, but Say Noir is way more juicy. I would say it's giving daytime summertime, if you will is giving i'm going out in july and i just want to have some fun that's that's what it's giving it's giving juicy fruit it's giving 
I just want to eat some grilled peaches. It's giving I want honey all over my beignets. Yeah, it does smell. I like it. It smells very good. I would say I would give it like a 7.5. On my hand, it's not super, super strong. I would like to know how it lasts, especially with the price point. But for like initial smells, for the initial scent, I would give like a 7.5 and just like lasting power, like it's starting to get faint on my hand, but usually on the back of my hand, it's not super strong anyway. So I would love to know how much it lasts, but lasting power right now, I give it like a five. I give it like a five for now, but would I buy this again? You definitely could find something that smells similar to this. I know this for a fact. There are a lot of honey scents, but this one is more honey and fruit forward and that's why I kind of like it but there are but there are perfume dupes ev everywhere so you definitely find something more in your price range if you don't want to spend almost $200 for a perfume but yeah I, I do really like this I do honestly like it I don't know if I would rebuy because I can definitely find something similar I don't think I would purchase this again I would request it as a gift but I don't know I want to see how it lasts on me so I'm probably gonna wear it tomorrow and see how it works with my body chemistry and see if it lasts long but dry down on my hand I'm not getting the peachy notes as much as when I initially sprayed it I'm mainly getting like the honey like my hand smells very sweet and I really like that so yeah so I so if you're wondering how it smells, it definitely smells great, especially on the initial spray. I don't think it will have great lasting power, which sucks because Killian has really good lasting power. And as for rebuying, probably not because it was almost $200 and there are other fragrances that I would kind of rather invest in. But honestly, I do like it. So if you're curious, hopefully at some point, you can just buy the sample for maybe like 50 bucks like hopefully you'll be able to buy this for like 50 bucks if you're just curious about it or you or you'll get it um the beyonce merch purchase if you're curious but honestly yes it smells ambery it smells like if you've ever smelled grilled grill peaches with honey slather on it that's exactly what it smells it smells like nice juicy peaches with slathered in honey and I really do like it. It smells juicy and sweet. The gourmand girls will love it. And that's my review on the Beyonce perfume. And I also ordered the Billie Eilish perfume. So whenever that comes out, you guys will see another video from me. But until then, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.